Hi friends, so this is going to be another empties video. I didn't have a video to upload and I haven't been filming and I did have quite a bit of empties because I've been kind of focusing on trying to finish some things up um, as usual. I don't know why I even said it because you guys know that's what I do. Um, so I just decided I'm just going to film this because I had enough. So yesterday I finally finished the Ulta Beauty Smoothie Dragon Fruit Frappe. I started this last like October. This was the first of the year, February, March, April. And I started using his bubble bath and it actually is, there's some left, tiny bit. Oh great, there's water too. You see how thin it is? So even just using like several pumps, I was using it to um, shave my legs even, which actually didn't do that bad of a job. Um, and then I used it in the bubble bath. So it will go fast if you start using it consistently. I like the smell. I just got sick of it. This is a lot. Um, I got these on this on sale a long time ago. I think this was like $5. Um, and I definitely got my $5 worth. These are usually $16 though, but they always have deals and all kinds of stuff. But this is acai, goji berry, and Megan's, mango steen super fruits. Um, but I really don't think I'll purchase these again. And everyone that I see that, you know, everyone's trying to empty those says the same thing. They're not going to buy them again. Also finished a Purity. This was one that I got for free. You, it was like a Sephora skincare set. And then you got to sample a bunch of them. And then you got a full size. Um, it was like $39. This alone is $24. Um, so it was a fun way for like $15 to try like eight different cleansers and then I got this um so I do have another one of these um and honestly I started breaking out really bad all here and I'm starting to think that this may be a little too gentle for my skin um so I might not use this like every day alternate between other things uh we'll see but I did finish that and that's a high value so um just as an aside, I think I'm at 252 empties and $1,135 or so. Crazy. That includes all of this stuff. I finished another one of the Salon Selectives from the Dollar Tree Extreme Corrective Hair Treatment. Um, I don't know why I've never mentioned this before. I was at Big Lots this weekend. They do have this in a huge tub at Big Lots for like $250. So if you are somebody that really, really likes this and or you can't find it at Dollar Tree anymore, you just want a bigger tub, you can find it at Big Lots. Um, so I've used it countless times and I think I emptied one like a month ago. Um, I finished the Lemon Mint Leaf uh, candle. This is Lemon Balm and Spearmint vetiver in citrus and at first I didn't like it but as I burned through it more I had it actually like right behind me um it really smelled nice and fresh but I'm glad that it's gone I really have only a, a few candles left and then I'll be able to purchase I ha do have a good amount of wax so I might work through that but um yeah it's crazy how much I've went through candles I'm so proud because I haven't been purchasing them um, let's see. Let me pull out some of this stuff. I finished from my Walmart box a few things. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is from the Walmart box. That's from the Walmart box. There's a lot of sample -y stuff in here. Um, okay. I finished this CeraVe healing ointment, which I did use on my heels and then put socks on two nights in a row. It was, this wasn't full and it did really soften my heels. So this is something that I definitely would consider. And I did use the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette, even though my hair is red right now, um, lightening. And believe it or not, it did make my color seem brighter just for a very short period of time. So I don't know what it's depositing on your hair. Um, but yeah, and I finished the Garnier Clean refreshing cleansing towelettes. These um, weren't very moisturizing to me or very um, moistened and I really had to scrub to try to get all of my makeup off. Um, so this is not something that I would repurchase. Another one of the Equate Soft and Smooth Shea Butter Wipes. I use these to wipe off mask swatches, um, stuff like that. These are awesome. You get 80 wipes for like $1.80 at Walmart. And then just boring tooth toothbrushes from Dollar Tree switched out. Um, I did do my hair. This was, I don't know, a week and a half ago. 
Revlon Color Silk um, Burgundy. Always use it. And I did finish a St. Ives Even and Bright. After this, I'm actually going to be taking a shower in a little bit. So I'll cut this open and then I'll use whatever's left on my face and my body. I do like to use all of it. And believe it or not, when you cut this open, there's a ton left. All on the sides because of how the packaging is. But, I mean, I'm telling you, I probably used 20 of those. Um, and then in terms of makeup, which I'm saving, this was a lavender mint lip balm that I finished. And I did hit my makeup use up goal for four lip balms this year. And I finished the Lights Camera Lashes uh, by Tarte. This is a full size. What I don't like in um, Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, on here says the same thing, is that it dries out so fast. It gets so thick and goopy. So I was using it regularly as my only mascara for about a month and a half, I'd say. And she says that's pretty much how long hers goes to um, and dries out. So that definitely is not worth the money. Not something I would consider purchasing. Okay. Also from my Walmart box was this uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect Glow Renewal. You guys know I finished. If you follow me, a like full size of it. It's nice. Not something I would repurchase. Finished my last Garnier Whole Blends Coconut Oil and Cocoa Butter Shampoo and Conditioner Samples that CrowdTap gave me. Um, this particular batch dried my hair out. In the front, I still have a little bit of dry scalp. So definitely wouldn't purchase that. Um, I'm trying to go through these. Let's see. I finished the last like Jergens kind of moisturizer thing that I had. Is there any left in here? Oh, there is. Um, and now I have one for my Walmart box and one I had purchased. Yes, I'm putting it on right now. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. And then I, this was in a magazine, the Olay Regenerous Moisturizer. I've had the full size and I gave it to my mom. I didn't like it. It's a thinner consistency. I like more of a cream. Use two of the Bosha Pur Purifying Black Strips. These do work. I don't get a ton of white-headed blackheads, but it really does work. The first time I used it in a long time, I forgot I had them. I threw them in. I had like a plastic shoebox kind of thing that I have a bunch of stuff in. And I was going through there to pull things to try and use. And these were kind of like shoved in there. I totally forgot. So the first time they used it, for the first time in like months, it really took a lot off. Like all here. Um... So this really does work. Dollar Tree Face Spa Anti-Aging Hyaluronic Acid and Koju Extract. I do like these masks, but this was a gel mask and it didn't dry. And I don't know if it necessarily did anything. You would sit there and wait for it to be done. And it was so impossible to get off your face because it was a thick gel. Um, I will say, of course, it was moisturizing. I did get a couple usages out of those these i always get two to three usages so for a dollar a lot of people are like that's a lot for a dollar this little mask um but the other ones i've used i'm telling you they're really worth it i definitely think they are and then i finished this votive by uh, yankee candle this is just mandarin it's in my bathroom it's almost gone actually um and i only have like three votives left i'm telling you i have like no candles it's actually kind of scary Dollar Tree revitalizing iPads. Put, I put them in the refrigerator. I used them yesterday. My eyes were really, really puffy, and they did a really nice job, I think. And then I used two masks. Um, I love this Tony Moly one. The last one I told you about the lemon one I did not like. This is the moisturizing aloe mask. This was fabulous. I definitely recommend. And then I used this one yesterday, the Tony, Tony Moly Pureness 100 Collagen Mask Elasticity. This was also very nice, and I was able to keep it on for about a half hour. It was really, really nice. So those are all of my empties. I think I told you 252 empties in 2016 and over $1,100 of value. I'm so proud. If I keep up with this pace, I definitely feel like I can hit pretty close to $3,000 for the month or for the year. Which, I don't know if I'm going to keep up with the pace because, like, I, I finished the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, which was $75 and really jumped my total up early on in the year. And this is $24. So those together are 100 bucks. So it really depends on what I'm using in terms of a value. Um, honestly, my goal is to hit uh, probably 2500 I was going to say 2000 but I think it's inevitable that I'm going to finish 2000 at this point. So my goal is going to be $2,500 of stuff to finish for the year, which is going to get harder and harder because most of it that I have left is makeup, so that takes a while. Um, 
We'll see. I don't know if I could do it or not. It, honestly, anything that I finish is a win-win. So I hope you guys are having fun emptying your products. If you have recently posted an empties video, please mention it below and I will go check it out. I'll talk to you guys later. Stay gorgeous. Bye.